Welcome to Tastes of the 70s with me, Jenny Webb. Now, back in the 1970s, prawn cocktail was seen as a very sophisticated way to start your dinner party, but it was actually very easy and quick to assemble. Despite that, it looked attractive and was very tasty to eat. Served with a wedge of lemon and brown bread and butter, it really was one of the signature starters of the 70s, and I've lost count of the amount of times I served it. You'll need lettuce, prawns, mayonnaise, tomato sauce, a squeeze of lemon, some pepper and Worcester sauce. Take some lettuce and tear it up and put it into the bottom of the dish like so. Now a tip, whatever you do, don't cut the lettuce with a knife because it bruises the leaves and discolors it. So that's your lettuce in. Next thing you want a few prawns. Oh, these look delicious. I could eat them now. Let's just get one. Oh, I like to be generous. There we go. So we've got the prawns in. And now I'm going to make the sauce. I have the mayonnaise here. In goes the tomato sauce. Oh, what a colour. Now hold on. Let me just move that out of the way for you so you can see everything. So just stir that in together. It doesn't look very exciting, does it? There we go. So make sure that it's all together because you don't want striped rose sauce, do you? There we are. Now, the next bit is a squeeze of lemon juice. Ooh, that's nice. And a teaspoon of Worcester sauce, if I can do it. it never comes out when you want it to. There we are, teaspoon. Good. And some pepper. Stir that in again. Very easy. And all you do now is just spoon the sauce over the prawns. Oh, that looks good. For this recipe, you'll need lettuce, 200 grams or eight ounces of peeled, fresh or thawed frozen prawns, 150 milliliters or a quarter of a pint of mayonnaise, eight tablespoons of tomato sauce, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, or to taste, a squeeze of lemon juice, pepper, lemon wedges, and you serve it with wedges of lemon and brown bread and butter. <laughs>